Hey there people, Ryan White here for highpointmusic.com.au. In today's two-part tutorial on the A minor chord, we're first going to look at how to play it and then how to do a bunch of cool things with it. So let's jump to it. Okay, so first and foremost people, we're going to set up and learn how to position our fingers for this A minor voicing. We want to take our first finger, fingertip, really nice fret position right up next to the fret marker on the first fret of the B string, just like that. Then we want to take our second finger and put it on the second fret on the D string like that. Fingertips, good fret position. And then directly underneath that, we want to place our third finger, okay, on the second fret on the G string there. Once you get your fingers together, we're going to apply the checking method where we go through, make sure we've got all the notes ringing out nice and cleanly. And once we've got that, then from the A string down, strum on through. So once you can set up and play the chord really, really clearly, then we're going to look at some cool techniques and approaches with our A minor voicing here. So here's our first one we're going to look at. So three, four, and one, two, three. Just by using a bass note on our E string. Cool, let's jump in and break this one down. So all we're doing is just with our little finger, once we've got our fingers placed, first, second, and third here, we're just going to go one, two, three on the voicing, and then we're going to go four and, okay, with our little finger on the third fret on the E string. So it's one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and so you can even use your fourth finger to put a little bit of bend if you want once you get more coordinated with that. So just one, two, three, four. Okay, next technique we're going to look at people is using the upper extensions. So that's three, four, and... Okay, so really straightforward, just setting up for our A minor voicing here. So strumming through from the A, D, G, B, place your fourth finger for the next voicing onto the third fret. Okay, which gives us the 11th of the scale. Then for the next one, you can lift your fourth finger off and we're just going to strum all the way through. Okay, which is going to give us the E, which is the fifth of the chord on top. So you got one with the third. 11, fifth on top, and then the fourth finger goes down and plays. Okay, that seventh of the scale there, which gives us the A minor seven. So you got third, fourth or eleventh, fifth, seventh, and then you can just work your way back by removing your fourth finger, strumming through to the fourth or eleventh there. That one there, and you can even lift it off on the last one to give you the ninth. So it goes one, two, three, four, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and back one more time. So once you've got those comfortable, you can then start playing around with combining the two ideas together where you might go one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and then switch. And then back to the bass, two, three. So these extensions are really, really handy once you get fluent. With chord progressions, you can start. So that 
that wraps up our tutorial for the A minor voicing today, people. Don't forget to hit those like and subscribe buttons to show your support and stay in touch with the content I'm putting out here. Also, if you'd like to set your playing apart and master the fundamental skill sets of contemporary guitar, don't forget to check out the High Point Music Guitar Fundamentals program. This unique and innovative course I've put together is going to help you break through any plateaus and truly set your playing apart. Also, don't forget to sign up for a $1 per month Patreon membership to show your support and directly contribute to the content I'm putting out here. My name is Ryan Wyatt. Thank you very, very much for watching. I hope this has been a huge help and I look forward to catching up with you all in the next video. Until then.